Good evening, everybody. Agus Dias Murib Galair. You're all very welcome to this evening's very special celebration of Ireland's road to freedom as told through the songs of her people. Well, they fought for poor old Ireland and full bitter was their fate. Oh, what glorious pride and passion fills the men of 98. Yet thank God for manhood bleeding hearts that gathered at the moon. We'll follow in their footsteps at the rising of the moon. By the rising of the moon, by the rising of the moon. We'll follow in their footsteps at the rising of the moon. By the rising of the moon, by the rising of the moon. And for army boys for freedom is the rising of the moon. The yellow stormman is not long. No bell, tiny bugle is my. The whole animals they end all in a chorus. It's sad. This is the story of Ireland through the songs of my people. Perhaps the most successful of the 1798 rebellions took place near New Ross, County Wexford, the ancestral home of John F. Kennedy. And the leader of that rebellion was none other than John Kelly, the boy from Calais. Up steps the captain's daughter, the captain of the yo. Irish men will ne'er again be born. We are the boys of Wexford who fought with heart and hands to burst in chains, the galling chains, and free our native land. At vinegar. For the pleasant slangy our brave heroes stood back, stood back, and the oars of Swallow took Father Murphy and burned his body upon the rack. God My country takes her place among the nations of the earth. Then, and not till then, let my epitaph be written. I have done. Then Patrick stay no more, we'll keep his colours can be seen. They're hanging men and women for the wearing of the green. How oh, I met with Napper Kendi, and he took me by the hand. And he said, how's for Ireland, and however does she stand? She's the most distressful country that ever yet was seen. They're hanging men and women for the wearing of the green. Yes, they're hanging men and women for the wearing of the green.
Thank you.